Welcome to today's show. We will be taking you through the black giant millipede and the pink-footed millipede's mating cycle and egg-laying process. Thank you for tuning in. Keep it locked here. This is Bola's channel. Remember, at the end of this video, to subscribe and like at the end. Generally, millipedes have a head and a body segment with a pair of legs. The adult millipede has more than 600 legs, as you can see, uh, while the juvenile species has less due to their anamorphic uh, development. The juvenile millipedes gain additional uh, body segments and legs after every month. Millipedes belong to the large class of uh, myriapods, having many legs. A millipedes fall in the same class with the centipedes, which also do have many legs. The millipede, uh, uh, part of the head of the millipede has two antennas, which is very, very useful on its navigation process. As you can see on the video, uh, the antenna is used for sensing and smelling before the millipede makes any movement. It sends with the antennas and it uses the antennas for navigation process. So millipedes are basically in the myriapods of family very, very harmless as animals. We have the three types of millipedes. The pink-footed millipedes, the pink uh, legs. We have the ivory millipedes, white in color along their body segments. And then we have the black oak millipedes. These are the black duck in color, also known as the giant black African millipedes found mostly in Africa. See the male millipede on top of the female millipede. Uh, basically they are mating right now. Uh, you can see it's using its uh, uh, genopods uh, which is the reproduction organs of the millipedes. Uh, it will take like 10 to 15 minutes on top of the female millipede until the mating is over. After the mating, the female millipedes takes like one month before it starts hatching the eggs. Uh, the eggs are hatched into the soil. So, it's so advisable for humans to avoid cutting down the trees, cutting down the forest areas, uh, which leads to soil erosion and can lead in the eroding of the uh, millipede's eggs. The millipede lays basically around uh, 20 to 300 eggs. So you can imagine losing all that. And also the millipedes are very, very habitual for the coexistence of nature because they help in the speed up of uh, soil fertilization through uh, feeding on the dead, decaying leaves, food remains, and uh, rotten vegetation. So the organism speeds up the fertilization process, which is very helpful for the cultivation and uh, a soil fertilization process. So keep watching, keep tuning in, keep this is a clear shot of the millipede mating. That's a female and male millipede. So uh, this is the male and uh, this is the female and this is the female also. 
Uh, they are fighting for the space for the reproduction. And we have the genopods are basically around this part. The genopods, these are the, uh, the reproduction of the millipede system is done here. Basically, the male millipedes are caught the female millipedes with a massage around their body through climbing over the female millipede. The white parts that is seen, uh, those are the genopods, which are the reproductive organs of the male millipedes, and basically are found at the seventh body segment. So those are the ones that are used for reproduction and mating of the millipedes. Uh, there's a, a, a male millipede living, almost leaving the, uh, the female a millipede. What happens after the mating, uh, the male millipede goes and lives in a different direction as to the female millipede. Up to now, until when the research has been done, we can't uh, say why the male and the female uh, moves in the different direction of the mating. So keep enjoying, keep liking, keep tuning. To distinguish between the male and the female millipede, uh, like the one we are having on this side, uh, this one, if I can point, uh, this one is the female uh, millipede. You can see it's chubby, large, and uh, at the terminal part of the tail, uh, looks bland. So uh, that's the, uh, uh, the female millipede. The terminal part of the millipede looks bland, it's long, chubby, and looks large. Ah, well, the male, if I can point, uh, it's a bit slim, uh, almost short, and you can see at the terminal point of the millipede, it looks sharp. So that's how you differentiate the male and the female millipede. And also the male millipede has the genopods at the seventh segment of its body, which helps in the reproduction. At the shooting of this episode, we managed to get a clear shot of millipede laying eggs. This was so brilliant and the most fulfilling experience. It takes almost a month for a female millipede after mating to lay eggs. Uh, the female millipede lays from uh, 20 to 300 eggs in the soil. And then the entire egg laying process uh, takes from 30 minutes to one hour. And then the eggs hatch into juvenile millipedes at the maturity. Millipedes uh, tend to mate a lot during the rainy season. Uh, this is one of the most important points uh, to note. You can clearly see uh, there's a female millipede. Uh, at their terminal tail, uh, there is where uh, it's laying the eggs. The white thing, uh, those are the eggs of the uh, millipedes. It lays from 20 to 300 eggs in the soil. The laying egg process takes like 30 to one hour. So it's a tedious and a tasky, uh, task for the millipede. The millipedes are endangered too through human activities, such as cutting down trees, clearing of the forest areas, which leads to soil erosion, hence eroding away the millipede's eggs. So as humans, we have a responsibility of keeping nature safe and avoid cutting down trees for better future generation. This is a clear shot of the millipede egg laying process. The white stuff you are seeing 
uh, those are the millipedes egg. It lays from 20 to 300 eggs. Okay guys, I uh, have a closer look of a juvenile millipede. A uh, juvenile millipede takes a uh, it, it molds uh, oftenly because every mold increases the segments and the legs on the millipede. So uh, these are the juvenile element fields. It takes like two to three years before the maturity period uh, whereby its sexual reproduction starts. So have a closer look of the juvenile millipede. And there are what I'm giving to you right now. That's the female and the male millipede. You can see the juvenile millipede running to uh, their parents. They're basically the female millipede. So uh, this is how it goes. This is how we do it here. Getting it live from Bola's channel. The epics. the juvenile millipedes and this one is also another juvenile millipede they are running toward this hole where they basically hide from the prey uh, the juvenile millipedes most often uh, to increase the segment and the legs it takes like two to three years before it reaches the sexual maturity we have the female uh, millipede there and you have the juvenile millipedes here so they are always close to where they can hide they have the hole here uh, when they see their prey they will tend to run towards the, the, the hole so keep watching, keep seeing, keep tuning this is the female millipede you see it's chubby, large you can see the terminal end looks bland We have another type of millipede. Uh, these are the pink-footed millipedes. Uh, this is because of their legs. They are pink in color. And that's why they are referred to the pink-footed millipedes. Millipedes stay in moist, decomposed areas uh, where we have the leaves, trees, where they can mate and hide themselves from direct sunlight. Uh, millipedes, point to note, they are also nature recyclers. Since they feed on dead plant materials, decayed rotten leaves, and food remains. Uh, millipedes play an important role in the ecosystem. They help in the speed up of the soil fertilization process by helping the decomposition of plants and animals faster. You can see the pink footed millipedes. The movement of the legs is moving in a very coordinated way. Millipedes are generally very harmless, but when they feel threatened, they use the maxill pods. And what they do, it injects venom into their prey. They also use their glands that run side of their body to secrete a nasty orange fluid on your skin, which causes a skin rash. But uh, what you do, just wash off with your soap and you'll be okay. Mm. Uh, millipedes also do have a defensive mechanism when feel a threatened. They coil their body spiral to protect their head and antenna from their prey. So this on top is the, the male millipede, 
and this one is the female amelipid uh, this one is uh, a pink footed type of millipede uh, commonly found in African okay as you can see it's trying to move Watch and see the movement of their legs. Uh, it's moving in a very coordinated ways and waves. Uh, it is believed that the uh, millipede has almost uh, 600 to 700 uh, pairs of legs. And it There is the mating process of the pink-footed millipede. We have our male and female millipedes interlocking. Uh, that's where the male millipedes have the genopods, which are the reproductive organs of the male millipedes and are basically found on the seventh body segment so as a viewer you have a clear shot and see what is happening this is bolas channel remember to keep it locked subscribe like and share the video So during the mating, the male will spend like 10 to 15 minutes lying over and coating the female millipede. And after the mating process, uh, it takes uh, one month for a female millipede to lay eggs. It lays from 20 to 300 eggs in the soil and then the eggs hatch into juvenile millipedes at maturity and the entire egg laying process takes from 30 minutes to one hour the juvenile millipede has to molt often in order to grow with each molt an additional segments and legs are added to their body until the juvenile millipede reaches the maturity. Sexual maturity is reached in two to three years, depending on the species. Millipede tend to mate a lot during the rainy season. Thank you for keeping it tuned and for watching. Please, as a viewer, remember to subscribe, like, Leave a comment and share our videos in order to support the channel. Thank you very much and be blessed. This is Bola. This is your home. Bye-bye.